Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Paddy Prowlock, and Newcastle got beat 1 0 off Huddersfield at the John Smith Stadium. What a frustrating game. After we got three points down there, Lassies were in the championship. We've come to be beaten the day, unfortunately, because the lack of transfer activity as us being a promoter team. Huddersfield are doing their business in the transfer market, and God almighty, they've got two wins so far. They've had a 100% start to the season. Us, zero at the minute. I wouldn't say, we haven't been like battered or anything. It's just, well, lack of quality is there. And to be honest, I have no idea what is going on in the transfer market now because Newcastle just like to clot about in it a lot of the bloody time. And it's so annoying, especially when you've got Mike Ashley, the owner, who's apparently not backing his man, like Rafa Benitez, example. And Charlie, is he playing any part? Because I've, I've no idea what he's doing as well. And you think, God almighty, it must be annoying for a lot of the fans going down there to watch the team perform. Well, we were terrible, so terrible. I wouldn't say we were so terrible. We had a few chances at least, but... It's the final thing that's letting we down, as in, because we need the quality for it. It's the final ball, that is the problem. We had a few, as I said, a few decent chances. We missed a sitter, Ayosi Perez, Jesus Christ, what on earth is happening to him now? He's turning into the next Albert Luque or Cisco at this rate. Jesus, my word. Marino stepped in for suspended John Joe Shelby. He looked a bit nervous a lot of the time, in my opinion. Um, not knowing who to pass the ball to some of the time. But it looks like he's got a canny left foot on him from what I've seen. He's got a powerful, decent left foot by the looks of it. So hopefully we'll see how he does. Gale doesn't look match fit. My Jesus, bloody Christ. Jocelo come on and he did a bit better. But my God, Gale doesn't look fit at all. Atsu, poor game in my opinion. Hayden... I would say he tried, but I'm not sure if he's up to Premier League standard at the minute. Defence-wise, okay, so, as you said, we've had to lose Lujan and Paul Dummett through injury. In comes Mbemba, Lascelles, and he's got Clock. It's centre-back with Lascelles, but he's got Mbemba at left-back. Is Mbemba a left-back? No, Chad, where is he a left-back, in my opinion? So, yeah, so it looks like if we need to, that's when alarm bells start ringing half the time. You're thinking, what does this team need if it's going to stay in the Premier League? Because at the minute, I don't think it's well. It's only two games in, but you'll say, oh, it might pick up, it might pick up. But we need the we need the quality, that's right. And some of those players are still like championship material at this rate. Elliot, we're number one keeper this season. Like A lot of people have been slaying Elliot off, seeing he's shit. He's useless and all that. But to be f honest, if he still called Darlow in goal, would he have saved that uh, goal from Moy today? Probably not. I don't think any keeper would have saved that. But a lot of people were criticising Rob Elliott's kicks as well. His kicks away, which were going out for throw-ins and stuff like that. So maybe he's got to step up his game a bit more on that. But I don't think... I wouldn't say Elliott's a bad keeper, in my opinion. If he, He's just probably trying to get used to being my first-choice keeper from now on. Since he didn't used to be. <clears throat> Since he was out injured for a while as well. But. They nearly had a. Like their width play from Huddersfield. Was absolutely tearing all. Wing backs apart. Te tearing like the likes of Mankio. And Bemba down them sides. The amount of crosses they were put in the box. Particularly in the first half. Was freaking ridiculous. But we managed to try and defend. But we shouldn't be allowing so many crosses. Into that box. Half of the time, so. And a warning shot came after Marino get, tries to clear the ball to, into Atsu, and then Atsu makes one of the worst clearances of all time. He gave it away to Tom Ince, who shot from the edge of the box. That was a warning shot, in my opinion. But so they were just piling on the pressure a lot of the time for at least 20 odd minutes throughout the game. We did get a chance. Um, through Matt Ritchie, that was uh, not a bad, that was unlucky that one, a good save from the keeper from that one, so a little bit unlucky that Ritchie's goal didn't go, shot didn't go in of the time, but as I said, it was just the final ball, 
a lot of the time, which we couldn't find. And then they get the goal in the second half. Good link up play between Moy and uh, I forgot his name now so <laughs> because I don't know a lot of Huddersfield players at this rate. He played a good one too with his man, and then Moy buries it in the top corner. Cannot fault the goal. That was a very good goal after Huddersfield decided to purchase him permanently from Manchester City. So it looks like he's going to be a very key player to Huddersfield season as well. So And after that, we did try a Perez. Jesus Christ, he missed an absolute bloody sitter. It was nearly like an open goal, pretty much. And his foot, he gets his left foot on it, which is not his stronger foot. Okay, fair enough. And it just he just put put it over the bar. Like, what is going on with Iosi Perez? The lad had, to me, had bags of talent a couple of years ago when we were in the Premier League at that time, before that. But he looks like he's just going down, 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 downhill. And he, as I said, he looks like he's looking like the next Cisco or Albert Luque. At this rate, hey, my word. Josiah had a few chance, good couple of decent chances, I thought. So I didn't think he did much wrong. He's just got to try and get used to it. He brung Jacob Murphy on. Now, I, could, I don't know why he brung him on against Tottenham last week. And I thought he looked all right when he come on. But as I said, the quality needs to be brought in as soon as possible. And he brings the army on. Didn't do much difference, though, did he? But to be honest, I wouldn't say Huddersfield were looking absolutely dead threatening after they were 1-0 up. They just tried to let us come back with and they pretty much closed us down a lot of the time. They dealt with a lot of our balls, which just wasn't there a lot of the time, which was very frustrating. So I think Rafa has got to try and do something at least, or try and persuade Ashley or Charlie, whoever, what is the hell is going on, to try and persuade him. Look, this is what we're needing desperately. I think we're going to need another left back because... You can't, I don't think Mbemba, no way Mbemba can be a left back in my opinion. Clark, I don't know. He has played there a couple of times for us, but again, centre back is his best place. So who can, and when Dummett comes back, but I'm not still convinced Dummett's a Premier League player. Hopefully, if the Lejeune is not out too injured for too long, because I thought he looked pretty solid as well. So, okay, so I've lost the game 1 0. It was just down to quality a lot of the time. Most of our balls into the box just weren't good enough. Huddersfield dealt with the look of the time. And to be honest, Huddersfield 100% start of the season. I hope they have a good Premier League. See a good Premier League season. Two out of two wins and they've just been promoted. Well done to them. So, But as I said, we've lost again. We've got the cup on Wednesday against Forest. Got to try and get something. I would need a decent cup run this season but will, I, will it happen well we'll have to see about that and West Ham it's a must win game on Saturday it's got to, we've got to try and beat West Ham at least on Saturday but as I said we've lost 1-0 as I said probably due to the amount of the lack of quality that we need for our squad to try and go further and try and kick off or start our Premier League season because I don't know where it's going to go at the minute it looks like it's going nowhere at the minute well, hopefully we'll try and bring something, even though I don't know if I'm convinced it's going to happen. But we shall see. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Give us a like, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. What did you think of the game? Where do you think needs addressing in the squad to hopefully get our season up and running? Let us know what you think, and I will see you all later. Take care of yourselves.